All right, Jesse here again from the Mashouf Wellness Center for another knot clinic. Uh, today we're actually going to switch it up. We're going to talk about how to coil a rope, not how to tie a knot. So most people, when they learn how to coil a rope, uh, they learn how to coil, you know, like a extension cord or something like that, and they learn how to do it like this, All right? And the problem with that is that when you have a longer cord, you start to generate twists in the loops, and that kinks the cord up over time. So I'm sure everybody has like a kinked up power cord in their closet. So instead what we use is we use this method called the butterfly method. So the way that that works is you basically make successive loops over either your neck or your hand in this case with a shorter cord. So I'm going to pull out an arm's length of rope. It's going to make one loop, another arm's length of rope, and then I'm going to lay that loop on the opposite side of the first one. So when I do it quickly, I can coil this whole rope up here. And what I end up with is a really nice, clean pile of rope here that comes out really easily, no twists. And then I can just tie it up any way that I, that I feel like it. This is a much better way to coil your cords at home, and also if you're climbing with a climbing rope, this is a, the preferred way to coil a climbing rope for any rock climbing application. So uh, feel free to follow us on our Instagram or Facebook page at SFSU Campus Recreation. Thanks for your time.